Hello, I'm Steve Spencer, Sports Marketing Manager for GT Bicycles. We're here at the USA BMX Nationals, Trumbull, Connecticut, uh, New England Nationals with CAC TV. Okay. And we're going to go through some of the GT bikes with you. Uh, first off here, we got the uh, 2013 GT Interceptor, kind of the new exciting uh, utility bikes, like we like to call them. It does everything. It's got race geometry, but then you got the, uh, the feel of steel. I always like to say steel is real. and Got the really cool uh, chromoly steel frame. This one's a double XL, so it's got 21 and a half top tube, about a 15 inch back end. Um, it will be sold in a frame only, and it has 14 mil dropouts, but it comes with uh, axle adapters so you can run the 3 8 There's a lot of guys out there that like to do everything. They like to have a bike that goes out there and handles all the different terrain and don't want to jump between a bunch of different bikes. Where this one, you can go out there, you can race it on Friday night and do trails and skate park on the weekend and, and not have to change anything up. Mike Day actually has this as his trail bike right now. Nice. So he's out there shredding it with the, with the Interceptor. Uh, but it's a brand new 2013 bike, so the rest of the guys will start jumping on them here pretty soon. Steel frame, I believe, is right around four pounds. And that's in the double XL, so it gets a little lighter when you go down. They'll offer this in a Pro, Pro XL, and a double XL. This is a little throwback we got going on. We actually came out with this bike for 2012, and we offered it in a, we had it in a chrome and gold accent. Right. This one, we uh, threw in a little more 80s flair, bringing back the baby blue and the white rims and the white walls. Right. Kind of like what uh, Martin Aprijo and Eddie Fiola rode back in the day. Mm -hmm. So yeah, kind of flashing that. And uh, we had Jordan Miranda go out there, race it in Cruiser today and do a pretty good job getting there, getting top three, getting on the podium. Yeah, it was primarily designed to be just a leisure bike, going out and have fun. The, the guys that grew up riding these, this is a perfect bike for them to hop on now for, for going out and riding with their kids. And it wasn't intended to be a race bike, but uh, Jordan Miranda went out and proved it was race worthy today. Another, another all around bike for GT. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. They do it all. We don't have this in the in the 20 inch. This is just a uh, kind of little retro flare and upselling, upscaling the size of the 26 inch. Last year we had the Power Series bikes, mm -hmm. which were the entry level uh, race bikes, a great neighborhood bike, uh, 399, 450 price point, um, aluminum frame, pretty good all around components, sealed bearings. Just, uh, Cromali steel crank, Cromali fork, race geometry. So it's a great bike right out of the box around the $400 price range. And uh, so we just changed up the colors this year. The, we had the geometry was spot on from last year. And then we uh, dropped a model in between the Power Series and the Speed Series. Now over here we have what we call the Pro Series. Pro Series. We've uh, refined, refined the frame up from the Power Series, a little lighter weight aluminum frame. It's got the kicked up chain stay like the Speed Series does. Front entry dropout. And uh, up, upgraded components on it. Got the Mohawk hubs. Tioga tires, the Power Block tires. Got upgraded Cromali crank. It's got the nice CNC machined uh, GT stem on it. GT branded saddle, aluminum handlebars. So this thing's like race ready right out of the box and they'll be anywhere like six to seven hundred dollar range and it'll be like a great bike right out of the box. Top of the line bling bling here. Got the uh, Speed Series. This is what the team rides. This is what gets it done. This is uh, what stood on top of the podium in, uh, in Berlin at the Revolution. Mike Day, Corbin Schirra. Uh, got the Pro XL Speed Series right there. The hydroform tubing made specifically for GT. Got the alienation hoops. Can't go wrong with those. Got the GT uh, Mohawk hubs. F a two classic hub. Exactly. Got the FSA uh, salt crank on there. That's a BB30 setup. A lot of people have been asking about what BB30 is all about. It's not your typical thread in uh, European bottom bracket. What it does is it, you can run a little larger bearing and then a larger spindle so you can have a little stiffer, stronger setup and it's, and it's going to give you uh, less flex, a little more strength, better acceleration. So it's something that's been brought over from the road and mountain bike market and it's being uh, applied by GT on the BMX bikes on the top end. We're doing some lifestyle marketing, getting things out there. Or, uh, with being Olympic here, we, 
We got involved with like Maxim Magazine, FHM, Popular Mechanics. Uh, we did a lot of PR through a lot of big name publications that hit outside the, the cycling market. And now we're starting to see the residual effects of that getting more and more people. And it's amazing how many people from years ago that have nothing to do with cycling now all have a story with GT. They grew up, either had a GT or wish they had a GT. And now that they're getting on it and they're, they're hopping on 26ers or, or getting on the new mountain bikes. Uh, we got an amazing line of mountain bikes coming out with the, the uh, new FOCU uh, carbon frames and just great stuff. We had Mike and Corbin show up in uh, New York City and they had uh, that dinner with uh, Associated Press and, and people like that and really, so we had a lot of stuff come out through USA Today and they were on the Today Show and so a lot, a lot of good things came out of that. Uh, Mike Day's almost household name now yeah. nowadays, uh, All-American boy there. Yeah, also new with the uh, 2013 bikes, uh, GT's going to be launching a national grassroots campaign we're going to be doing through all the, the GT dealers that want to get involved. Uh, something GT had years ago, the co-factory program, we're bringing it back where a local shop can, uh, we'll put together a package for the shop, for a local team, they'll have a kit all set up, they have a great deal on a bike, frame, whatever they need, and uh, they'll be out there flying, the, earning their wings on the GT kits, so uh, look for that, go to your GT dealers first of the year, and uh, we'll get you all get y'all set up and out there uh, flying with the GT crew. Over this year we got involved with Brett Metcalf who's one of the, the top motocross supercross guys out of Australia. Been racing the US Series. Uh, he had an unfortunate crash in training uh, halfway through the season. But yeah he's been out there. He's got the GT he's got GT on his helmet. He's out there using the bikes for training and stuff so he's been uh, representing big time so uh, big thanks to Brett and uh, get well soon. GT's on its way back and I appreciate everybody uh, in the office that put in all the hard work and uh, it's a great work with a great group of people. We all have a, a, the same vision, the same goal. To, we can't bring back the past, but we're working towards a new future for the brand, and uh, we're just super excited. And the team we got here, I led with Big Daddy Roop, uh, Jordan Miranda, Sean Gahan, Felicia Stansel, who's out racing Canada with Mike and Corbin, uh, Sophia Foresta, Jack Kelly. Couldn't ask for a better group of kids, better group of families, and uh, yeah, just loving life, doing BMX. Hey, this has been Steve Spencer with GT Bicycles, uh, doing it in the BMX hood with CAC TV. If you want to learn more about uh, GT Bicycles, go to gtbicycles.com and uh, read all about it. We'll see you at the races. Back to you, Billy. Bam!